Hello and welcome to Badass Warriors Revealed. Today I have somebody with me who is the most badass of all warriors. It is Katie Rowley. Now Katie has very recently joined the Northern Star Acting Tribe in her mission to become a professional actor. But the thing is about, well, there's something about Katie that makes her stand out. Um, Katie is actually deaf. She is visually impaired and has a guide dog called Domino. And she's also dyslexic. So I wanted to bring her here today because I find her to be a massive inspiration. And I'm sure that a lot of people will be motivated by hearing what she's got to say. So, hi, Katie. Hi, Helena. Thank you for joining me here today. You're welcome. <laughs> now then. I would love to hear about your journey. How long have you been wanting to become an actor? Sorry, I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it in the chat box for you. Oh, um, for quite a long time, um, since I was about 12, 13, I used to do drama class at the school, and I loved it. When I left school, I went to a deaf drama group, which ran for three years, but unfortunately, it collapsed. But I didn't have the confidence to look elsewhere until four or five weeks ago. <laughs> okay. And can I ask you something? Have you always been deaf and have you always been visually impaired? Um, I've been deaf since I was three years old. And that... Uh, Happens overnight. I'll put the bench for night here and woke up the next day completely deaf. And that has been very hard. It's been a struggle all my life. And I've been bullied because of it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And because of that, I have very low confidence. Oh, as you can see, not anymore. Not anymore. I love it. I love yeah. it. So I really yeah. love your attitude because you've got such positivity and determination and you've just got this energy around you, this really positive, shiny energy. And I'm really glad that you've joined us. And I'm really happy that you can finally start to take steps into the acting world. And you've recently done your first role, haven't you? Yeah. Well, I've not always been determined. My um, nan died five years ago and one of her wishes was for me to do what I'm good at. But the last um, seven, seven years, I've been making musical videos with sign language translating the songs from a hearing part to the dodgy suit, which seeing it, and I have to do it in sign language. I've been doing that for about seven years. And my nan said to me, why don't you go and do that professionally? I went, um, but how, where, sort of thing. And then when I came across your advertisement on Facebook for actors and all, maybe that's a good place to start. 
Uh, so here I am. And what about before this? Were you, did you think that you wouldn't be given opportunities because of your disabilities? Sorry. I'll write it down, I'll write it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you think that you may not be given opportunities due to your disabilities? Yes. Um, I do because when I did the Deaf Trauma Group, I applied for quite a few roles outside the group. But I was told, well, how were you going to hear me? How would you going to see us? And I said, well, I can't because I know this trip. What's going to happen? I'm sure we could work them the couch, work away round there. But I don't play to see that as a problem rather than try to find a way to adapt to at the end of the day. Everybody's the same, everybody's unique, everybody's an individual, whether you've got disability or not. You have to work together, you've got to support each other. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that's what you need. If you can't do that, what you got? Nothing. Exactly. Very well said, very well said. Now, you've, you've been really good at taking action. I can see such massive determination in you. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. What is it that you want from the future? What do you want to achieve? Um, I would love to be able to write my own um, script and to advertise how disability is not the problem for a disabled person to be just like anybody. Okay, with a disability, you can't work, mount it, find a way to adapt. But why should anybody be left out? Why not achieve your dreams? If you want something bad, say enough. Go for it. Go out there and get it. You're not going to come to you. Exactly. And you are proving that you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it. You've got one role, you've got an audition for another, you've been with Northern Star for what, four weeks is it? Yeah, four I weeks. feel proud of myself. I feel you proud. You should I be very, very proud. Life. You're a massive inspiration. And for anybody, for anybody watching this who are telling themselves that they can't, just stop it now, <laughs> just stop it. Nothing is in your way apart from what's in your own head. Yeah, so, but the thing is, right, I was brought up in um, a mainstream school, we had the deaf unit. Uh, they always said, oh, deaf people can't do this, deaf people can't do that, deaf people can't do that. All they do the best. Not that impossible. But if you look at the word impossible and break it up, I'm possible. Yes. Yes. I'm possible. I can do it. You can. And you're here showing all of those people wrong. Yeah. So my view to anybody, whether they've got disability or not, go for it. 
Do what you want to do. Achieve a crappy with both hands. Yes, exactly. I love that. You know, you've had to fight through so many different obstacles. What has been the hardest for you? What's been the hardest thing for you to get past? Sorry. What's been the most challenging obstacle for you? Shall I write it down? Yeah, can I write it down? What's been the most challenging obstacle for you to get past? Um, I would say it's not late. Yes, I might be good at the acting and game it off a cross. But now I'm so absorbed. Where do I go from now? I've just been accepted today, today. I got the email this afternoon, I've been accepted. So well they're gonna send me why they to do next. But my biggest obstacle in the future will be that I know my diet's going to go eventually. I don't know how long I've got left with the little website I've got. But how can I get past, you know, like the meeting of the trips? I will be able to meet it in large print once my vision goes. So how can I adapt? I've been looking into it. I could request it in well, but I'm having a second cochlear implant, hopefully next year. Wow. So my hearing will be that much better of it wow. too. So what's the alternative? I can record the trip, do not get some attention record it. They give it to me, so I'll have to learn to listen more. Um, apart from that, uh, I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Awesome. Awesome. I love how you just find ways around things. You don't let anything hold you back. So I'm going to ask you one more thing now. Yeah. What have you got? This is your chance to talk to the world. What do you have to say to anybody telling themselves that they can't do something, that they can't be an actor, that they can't do this, that they can't do that? Talk to those people now and tell them what you think. I ever say, stop. Take a step back. Think, why do you think you can't do it? If it's something that's mentally blocking them from thinking that they can't do it, write it down. See if there's a solution. If you can't come up with a solution, talk to a friend or a family member or a member of the tribe. Somebody, see if you can work out an alternative. Why can't you do it? If you would like me, the doubt stood because sign language is my first language. English, no. When I get nervous, I die because that is my natural language. And I always had the fear that I would talk silly. If I were talking to you with that language, you wouldn't understand me. So I might think down first what I'm going to say. That gets rid of a lot of the nerves. But if you want to spell like here and now, just 
took thee out. Overcome your fears. Be in a positive mindset. I go pray. I think that's the best way to do it. Definitely. Definitely. Katie, you are amazing and I am honoured to be part of your journey and I can't wait to see what happens next. So everyone, yeah. you heard it from Katie. She's, she's been in Northern Star for four weeks. She's booked one role. She's got another audition and now she's got an agent as well. So if she can do it, so can you. So stop telling yourself that you can't and start thinking of reasons why you can. Katie, thank you so much for talking to me today and I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.